KO Artist Sports here with Richard Schaefer, Ringstar CEO. Man, uh, you said you were going to do it, uh, having a big show with Carlos Balderas. This is like being back at the Rio Olympics, man. You got like uh, Misael Rodriguez, Abner Matis manages him. Uh, I mean, you got uh, so many guys making their pro debut. Tell us about this show. Well, I'm calling it opening night. Uh, <laughs> this is the night where we're going to let them loose. Uh, I really believe these are, from a skill point of view, a skill and talent point of view, from a charisma point of view, and from a character point of view, the best uh, fighters coming out of the Olympics. And let's not forget, one of them actually is not coming from the Olympics, but has exactly the same ingredients of skills and charisma and character, that's Money Powell, the fourth as well, um, who will be uh, making his pro debut as well. So I'm very excited. I was waiting for that. I believe that we are going to see on April the 9th uh, some, maybe all of them, uh, fighters which are which we're going to be following for many years to come, and which are really going to be carrying our sport. Well, so what is it? Obviously, your your company's new, um, but you've been in the business for forever. So, when looking at fighters to sign, what is it like? Is there a certain style of fighters you're looking for, like in the ring? Is it a character? Is it everything? What, what is it? Um, you know, having been uh, involved in boxing now for, for 17 years or so, you sort of like live and learn. But I came to realize that talent alone is really not the only factor. It's one of the factors. It's an important factor. But in the past, I signed fighters with great skills, with great talent. But then they didn't have the discipline or the, the, the character to really ultimately con con convert that talent into success uh, in the ring. Um, they didn't have the character because they were hanging around the wrong people. Um, so they didn't have the charisma. Uh, didn't really were not able to connect with the media. Uh, so I am I am looking at, at skills, talent, the char character, and the charisma as equally important. And if one of them is missing, then usually it's sort of like uh, it doesn't allow you to really take somebody to the absolute. Top. So, in the end of the day, our time is 24 hours a day, and you can only work so much, and you can only do so much, and whether you are going to be spending your time with somebody of with average, average in these three boxes, it's the same amount of time you spend than if you have somebody who is, who is on top of his game in all of these three char characteristics, and that's what I decided to do. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. I've been approached by well over 200 fighters, actually a little over 250 now, either directly or through managers or trainers or intermediaries and so on, who were interested to work with me since I returned to the sport. But the fact is, I only signed six or so. And uh, so uh, really quality means everything. Well, we know you have a, an eye for, for that type of talent, so we're definitely looking forward to this show, man. Also, big, you made a big news uh, about a month ago, I want to say, talking about this this boxing tournament that's going on, uh, I think a $15 million for the winner. Tell, do, give us the details on that. Yes, the World Boxing Super Series, where fighters will be fighting for the Mohamed Ali Trophy, uh, $50 million in prize money, two weight classes. Uh, it will be aired worldwide. Uh, we are currently working on identifying the two weight classes and then uh, open up the, in, open the enrollment period where fighters can enroll to participate. Uh, the anticipated announcement as it relates to who will be participating is going to be sometime in the second half of June and then the fights are going to start uh, in September and October. Well, I'm excited to hear excited to hear more about that for sure, man. I uh, want to get your take. Um, Canelo Chavez obviously happened in, in May. Uh, first, what do you think about the fight? How do you see that going? And, and also, what's your take on the, the whole weight situation? How you know, Canelo didn't want to move up to 160 for, for Triple G. Now he's moving up to 164 and a half. Give us your take on that fight and, and that aspect. Well, um, you know, Canelo is uh, is the big is a big star, and you know, but being a big star, you know, he paid his dues. And while before, uh, you know, when he need when he wanted to get the big fights, you know, he had to make he was the one who had to make concessions because he was fighting, let's say, a Mayweather or so. Mayweather was the star, but now Canelo is the star, and Canelo is making, you know, uh, you know, is using his leverage to his. Advantage. 
advantage, frankly, who wouldn't? Uh, who wouldn't? And so I, you know, you can't really blame Canelo for that. And he has earned the right to pick on who he wants to fight. Simple as that. Uh, I think, uh, you know, as I, as I always say, boxing is, a, is entertainment. Uh, and as from an entertainment value, we all know that Canelo Chavez is going to be a terrific fight. I mean, you have everybody picking Canelo, but more and more you start hearing uh, the Chavez. People talking up for Chavez because they see that Chavez is in shape. Chavez is taking it serious. This is a different Chavez than the Chavez we've seen in the last two years or so, which didn't really take it serious. He clearly is committed to this fight. This is about pride. He doesn't want to lose. Um, and, you know, let's face it, he's clearly the bigger guy. You saw it at the press conference. This was like boy against man. And uh, Chavez, we all know as well, has a great chin. He can punch. And Canelo hasn't really been tested, you know. So it will be an interesting night. And lastly, uh, everyone, I've, I've noticed everyone's been asking you this lastly, but uh, uh, Mayweather, Conor McGregor, uh, it's obviously a great business sense. It, it makes sense, of course. It's a lot of money. But as a fight fan, just kind of what are your thoughts? Is it going to happen if you know anything? Anything in that? And we know you're close to, to Floyd. Well, you know, have you, ever, have you ever seen a fight between a boxer and a mixed martial arts? In a boxing ring? No. No, me neither. Yeah. <laughs> and nor did the other people out, out there, all those, all those experts. So we don't really know what's going to happen. We're going to have to find out if that fight happens. And, you know, uh, frankly, you know, Floyd Mayweather could fight King Kong and he'd still be the favorite because King, King Kong would miss punches. <laughs> King Kong would be so slow. It doesn't really matter on who you put against Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is a once-in-a-generation talent. In my opinion, the, be the best fighter of all time. We who live in today's era don't really fully appreciate Floyd Mayweather because we live with it. We sort of like take it for granted and only later will Floyd Mayweather's later generations will realize how great Floyd Mayweather really was. Not because he won 49 times or 50 times or whatever, but on how easy he made it look and how, how easy he, he, he made it. And I think with, with Conor McGregor, it'll be an easy night for Floyd again. But it doesn't really matter who it is. It will be a great night for sports, a great night of entertainment, and that is what boxing is. People will talk about boxing, people will talk about mixed martial arts. Some people might going to say it's a circus, others are going to, uh, but you know what, in the end, everybody is still going to watch it and everybody is still going to buy it. So, you know, from an entertainment point of view, I'd love to see it. Well, uh, April 9th, FS1, 6 p.m., the show at the Novo in downtown. Thank you so much, Richard, for the thank time. You very Appreciate much. it. Thank, thank you. you.